Oh, Doggy has an event now. Oh my god. There's so many events now. Let's do it. Hey, I was thinking of drinking that liquor you gave me the other day. You should join me. It'll get us pumped up before the fight. Woo! <laughs> That'll put some hair on your chest. Man, that bird good going down. I haven't felt that in a long time. <laughs> Shouldn't you eat something? Ah, I'm good, man. Don't worry about me. You eat as much as you want. <laughs> Still, as far as wild adventures go, this one definitely takes the cake. You think you'll ever stop getting us roped into trouble all the time? It's me. I guess we wouldn't have gotten into so many scrapes if you could stop, huh? Anyway, you just leave the village to me. I'll make sure it's still standing when you guys come back. Speaking of which... It's not like I'm really worried about it or anything, but... You are coming back, right? I know we're not strangers to danger, but I'm... Legitimately worried this time. I mean, the Lacrimosa might just be the craziest thing you've ever had to deal with. I'm just saying, I got this weird feeling you might not come back from this one. Don't worry, I'll stop the Necromosa. Yeah. Okay then. Damn, Adol. Doesn't matter what's going on, you always pull through in the end. Ugh. Oh well. <laughs> it's not like I expected anything less from you. Whatever happens, you know I got your back all the way. But you gotta promise that you'll drink with me when you come back, all right? I intend to drink till my teeth start floating, so you better be ready. Okay, well that's one event. Um, we have one on the hill up here with Donna. Oh, she has a quest. Oh man. So that's what was holding back the quests on us, huh? Check the board. Elder Sword. Sylvia. I love watching you kids makes me want to fight test your fighting skills. I understand the situation, but consider fighting me just another part of your training. A pterosaur whose egg we help return to its nest has another request for us. I want you to help us out. I'll listen to Humble Story for more details. And then we went to explore the Valley Kings and came across hordes of beasts in the day. If we ignore this, Saren Garden will be at risk. I was joined forces to stop the calm, the strange activity. Well, that says, like, the client's castaway village? Like, the entire village is requesting it? Or something? Alright, so we got Laxie and Hummel. And then. Our, oh, Hummel has an event and a quest. Oh, goodness. I bet Donna's the same, huh? And there's that Sylvia quest down there. Do you have... Oh! Hey, oh! I picked up enough... Oh, man. That's sweet, but... Got enough for the uh, Bolognese. <laughs> this one is special! Not enough for anything else, though. See you later. Are you another use for the big pearls? What should I upgrade? Oh, but I can upgrade Donna's weapon once because I think there's enough to do that. Sweet, it's complete. Do it once. All right. How can I help you today? Leave it to me. All right, finished. Is that Good it? One. All right, let's do the scenes at least. Maybe we speak in private, Adol. 
Um, you see, there's something that I want to address with you. Will you come with me? You've changed. <laughs> Do you really think so? If I have, it's because of everyone in the village. And because of you, Adol. When you first arrived here, I was unkind to you due to my feelings toward my father and house. Perhaps I was afraid of losing my status and honor as a noble. After all, that's the last thing my father left me. Everyone I've met on this island, they're all so different, and yet they're able to live their lives with such vigor and confidence. I was so preoccupied by my fears, I didn't realize the others were saving me until it had already happened. But I understand now. No matter what circumstances may befall a person, they can still live on with pride. That's why I wanted to properly thank you. Is that what you want to talk to me about? Yes. I don't know what the future holds for us. But I don't want to regret anything. So I thought I should tell you now. <clears throat> Which is not to say that my feelings for you are limited to gratitude. <laughs> Never mind. Now then, Doki and the others are keeping the village safe. And we must fulfill our duties too. Fight with all our might until the very end, Hadal. Okay. Um, Harrow? Harrow. Going out to sea. I want to see the sea. Primordials, many primordials. I'm fed up at all, fed up. Thanks, Pero. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, oh, thank you very much. Uh... I'll keep an eye out. You guys do your best. Being warden hard. Donna's having our good time. You guys are here now. Donna is happy. I dream. Dream of you guys. But dreams must end. What happens to the dream? Do you have dreams too? Ah, I like Adol. I like him a lot. Keep it up, Adol. Watch! I'll cheer! Aww. Alright, that just leaves Hummel. And also Donna. While we're up here. Donna! Oh, you just have a quest. Oh, Adol. I was lost in thought. Don't worry, it wasn't anything important. Tell me about it. Very well, I suppose I can share this with you. I was thinking about Olga. How I wasn't there for her during her final moments. At the time, I was desperately trying to save what few people remained in the world. We didn't have as many opportunities to talk as we used to. You never cease to amaze me, traveling to the southern nations alone all because you wanted to help the people there. How can I lose heart after hearing that? 
While I was researching attorney and lore, I came across a figure known as the Bluebird. For some reason, looking at re you reminds me of the time I spent studying it. If I'm ever in trouble, I know where I will place my faith. That was the last thing Olga ever said to me. I wonder what she was trying to tell me. I still think about it to this day. One thing is clear, though. Olga's dead. I don't feel sad, really. I just feel alone. Let's find out what her last word meant. But it happened so long ago, there's no point in searching for answers now. I'll explain his fascination with myths and legends is why he became an adventurer. Adel, <laughs> thank you. In that case, at the time, Olga was studying the myths and lores of various locations. Might be able to find clues at the temple about what she was studying. Yes, if you're with me, I'm sure we can figure this out. Thank you, Adel. Let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree when time allows. Best friend's will has been added to the journal. Uh, and Hummel. Let's talk, Adel. Are you giving me the quest or are you giving me the event? Probably the event, right? Tell me what's on your mind. What's wrong? Okay. I will. The transporter should never reveal their civilian identity. But you have helped me greatly. So I figured you should know how I got into this line of work. The Trivaldo family have operated as transporters in society's underbelly for generations reason. Some consider my family to be inheritors of the dark legacy, and I've always resented my father for choosing to continue that legacy. One day, when I was barely ten years old, my father and I got into a fight, and I ran away from home. I was young and had nowhere to go, so I ended up living on the streets. I was out there, shivering in the cold, the couple found me. They ran a small orphanage and took me in. There were lots of kids from different walks of life at the orphanage. New kids, myself included, could only see despair in their futures, seeing the hopelessness in our faces. The couple brought in a street performer for us. When the show started, our eyes lit up as if someone had cast a spell to put smiles on our faces. After watching that show, I began to idolize street performers. So, when I came of age, I set out to become one myself. Your juggling is really impressive. Hmm. I'm self-taught and spent a long time practicing. Years later, after I had garnered some fame as a street performer, I happened to stumble across my father. He was in an alley, lying on his back. I could tell right away his wound was fatal. To this day, I still don't know if he recognized me beneath the clown makeup. He entrusted me with his cargo before breathing his last. Such is the fate of those who dwell within society's dark underbelly. As for his cargo, it appeared to be some sort of contraband, and I decided to fulfill his dying wish and delivered it for him. The recipient of the contraband turned out to be a back alley doctor. However, the contraband itself was medicine to treat a spreading disease. I later heard that it was used to treat the kids who came to watch me perform. At that moment, I learned that people could still do good, even within society's underbelly. I also learned from the doctor and my father's journals that my family had influenced events throughout history. That's when I finally understood my father, and I could not stop crying. From then on, I set out to create a new legacy for the Trivaldo name. Must be proud of your work. <laughs> I wouldn't go bragging to the world about the 
next line of work. And at the same time, my work makes a difference. That's all right by me. Anyway, that's my story. Let's keep helping each other until... Aha! There you are, Adol and Hummel. What are you guys doing up there? It's super suspicious! <laughs> Perhaps it's time to climb back down. At all. Let's keep helping each other until the end. So Hummel, I hear you have a quest for me. Want me to explain? Hummel, how come we got a request from a pterosaur? Remember when we delivered that pterosaur egg to its nest? You helped me, so you should remember. Well, a pterosaur needs our help again. Oh, this is what I was thinking of. Request from Primordial? Even by island, this island standards from normality, this is absurd. Not sure what to say about this. Even Primordial's coming for help? You're amazing, homo! Anyway, this request is a little complicated. So I would really appreciate your assistance. Complicated? Yeah, complicated. Apparently that egg has been stolen by another Primordial. We've been asked to recover the egg. What? Uh, don't you think it's a little late for that? That egg's probably been eaten by now. Actually, we still have time. I was told the egg was placed in a nest in the Pangaea Plains. This is too dangerous. Even if we manage to find a nest, the egg has, been, has more than likely been... Hummel risks his, his life to deliver that egg. There's still a hope of saving, and uh, I want to help. No matter how hopeless the situation seems, I will never give up. Because I'm a professional. Moxia. I know a fair amount about Saurians, too. Maybe we can pull our knowledge and figure out how to save that egg. But Donna, we don't have time for these sorts of diversions. Moxia, you might as well quit while you're behind. Once they've made up their minds, you know how full oh well they're not gonna change them. Trust this, Loxia. You are so fine. Donna, let's work together and come up with a plan. Let's give it our all, Loxia. Agreed. Come on, please tell us everything you can about the primordial that took the egg. And so, Idol and the others began forming a plan to recover the egg. They went around the village gathering information about the primordial that took the egg. From there, Donna and Loxia were able to surmise the ecology of the specific species. But that, they were able to advise the best strategy for recovering the egg. Alright, let's go over the strategy again. The Pangaea Plains are heavily populated with Saurians. We'll need to search every single one of their nests to find the egg. We'll search for the egg at night when most of the primordials are sleeping. Some species are nocturnal though, so we'll still need to be on alert. Got it. Save for the hit those primordials at night, then try to tangle with them during the day. I bet the ones protecting their nests are really scary when they're angry. Yes, I'm sure they are. Let's head to the campsite near the ruins of the kingdom and wait for nightfall. Understood. Thank you, Alaxia and Donna. What about me? Yes, thank you too. Man, you guys risk your lives for the strangest things. <sighs> when you're as young as them, you can afford to be a little foolhardy. You guys better make sure you recover that egg. That goes without saying. Let's go, go, go! Now conduct a night exploration of the Pangaea Plains. <sighs> you thought I didn't like the John Darm night exploration? You haven't even seen the Pangaea Plains at night exploration. <sighs> Um... Gosh. 
check for something here. So my fish guy I looked up is kind of sort of on the based on the old translation. So I think the fish we're looking for can be found here. One of the fish we're looking for. Let's do some fish hunting and call it good. I know where one is. For sure. Now they're finding this one. Not that. I think this is the right place. There is a backup place for it that we will have to wait for. All right. Yeah. Damn. Oh man, mucus. This with Donna. Actually, be further down. I have to get this one. Maybe this is it right here. Queen Bulla, new fish found. Aha. Okay, that was one fish we can grab for now. Um, we have one more we can grab at the moment. We want to go to the Sky Garden. with Donna still. Why not? Hopefully not regret life. Might be regretting life right about now for doing this with Donna. Maybe. Is it? Pinaria! New fish, lunar wings, starry shell, saurian scale. Alright. Sweet. Let's There's only one more fish in here. Why not? Actually get his worthwhile rewards, so. I had fished here. I guess I just didn't fish up this fish. Yes. Okay. This isn't too bad. I think I got this. The king salmon. Alright. Anyway, that's all we can do for fishing at the moment. So... I guess next time we'll do the night pangaea plant? I guess? Also, we need to do that quest. So, yeah, we'll do it. We'll head to the Pangaea Plains. Call it good here. And next time, we shall do a night exploration. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this one. Oh boy. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, it is ad free, so a great way to support it is through Patreon or Amazon Influencer, Humble Bundle, a bunch of different links in the description, including you can also find my social media links there. So, if you want to follow me on Twitter and whatever, you should do so. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, this is Renee MT signing out. Bye!